love dominant chords? Don't you wish that every chord you hear could be set up by a dominant chord? Well then try secondary dominance. What is a dominant chord? The dominant chord of any key is the chord that is built off the fifth scale degree. In the key of C, it's G, and in the key of A, it's E. Dominant chords always contain the leading tone, and its main job is to create tension in a chord progression and pull us back to the tonic. In major keys, the seven diminished chord also has dominant function. It's not as strong as the five chord, but it still contains the leading tone. More on diminished chords later. So then what is a secondary dominant? A secondary dominant is a dominant chord that is taken from outside the key that points towards a chord that is not the tonic. For example, let's say we're in the key of C and we want to move to the two chord, D minor. But instead of going straight there, we really want to draw the ear in that direction. We could set up a dominant chord of that D minor to help us get there. In this case, it would be an A7 chord and it would be written the 5-7 of two. It is possible to do this to almost any chord in a key. The one exception is the diminished chord. Seven diminished in major and two diminished in minor. This is because you want your secondary dominant to feel resolved. And resolving to a diminished chord just sounds like crap, to be honest. It is easiest to find these chords if you imagine that you are in the key of the target chord for a moment. If the chord you are going to is E minor, imagine you are in E minor, and then find the dominant, B7. If you are going to A flat major, imagine you are in that key and find the dominant. E flat 7. The 5 of 5 chord is probably the most common. Essentially, it is the dominant of the dominant. It sounds similar to a 2 5 1 progression, but with more kick. Another very common one is the 5 of 6 chord. This chord places an emphasis on the relative minor and can sometimes be used in full blown modulation. While we're here, let's talk about the difference between modulation and tonicization. Tonicization is what secondary dominants are usually associated with. Tonicization is quickly moving to a temporary key center and then moving back away from it. There's a shift in the key center for one chord and then we move back to the original center. Whereas a modulation is a more permanent move to a new key center. Usually there is some kind of cadence involved and the music will continue in that new key for some time. secondary diminished chords. Because diminished chords have dominant function as well, they can also be used as secondary dominant chords. Instead of setting up a 5 of something, we can set up a 7 diminished of something. For example, let's try the 7 diminished of 5 in the key of C. We're going to emphasize that G major, which is the dominant. We pretend we're in G major for a moment and then find the 7 diminished chord in that key, which would be an F sharp diminished chord. Again, this can be used for any chord in the key other than the diminished chord. Resolving one diminished chord to another is going to sound dissonant. Naturally occurring secondary dominance. Sometimes a chord that already appears within a key can act as a secondary dominant to a chord outside the key instead of the other way around, which is what we have done so far. The most common form of this is the four chord in major. In G major, the C major four chord can act as a secondary dominant that resolves to the flat seven, F major. So that chord will have a natural pull towards and can be resolved to a chord that's outside of the key, F major. Sometimes secondary dominants also occur in a key that point towards a chord in that same key. The two diminished chord in minor will act as a secondary diminished chord for the naturally occurring major three chord in minor. In C minor, D diminished will be nicely resolved to E flat major. And the tonic chord in major will also act as a secondary dominant to the four chord in that key. A seventh can be added to any of these chords to increase the emphasis. It is possible to create a deceptive cadence with a secondary dominant chord. A deceptive cadence is the idea of a dominant chord resolving to the 6 chord instead of back to the tonic. In the key of C, the dominant 7th, G7, wants to resolve back to C, but instead it can resolve to the 6th chord, A minor. This can also be used with a secondary dominant situation. We can set up a 5 of 5 in C major, which would be a D7 chord. This D7, instead of resolving to G major, can resolve upwards to E minor, creating a deceptive cadence in the key of G. Thanks for watching. If you found this interesting, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. If you like this channel and would like to support it, please consider checking out my Patreon. Link is in the description.